Apollo Towing is getting ready for their busiest season, the holidays. Their annual No Excuse Holiday Towing campaign officially kicks off tomorrow in an effort to keep our community safe from drunk drivers. Our James Ayala shows us how the campaign works. All it takes is one phone call, no questions asked. Apollo Towing is offering a free tow to Coastal Bend residents, but there's a catch. You can't bar hop and have your vehicle towed from bar to bar, but if you need to get back home in Corpus Christi, Robstown, or Portland, all you have to do is call Apollo Towing. We ask that the vehicle being towed is operable. You cannot get involved in an accident and then call us. It doesn't work that way. Parked, operable, and you must have the keys and a picture ID that can verify your address. According to CCPD, we have seen an increase in DWIs averaging $1,400 a year for the last 10 years, and with each DWI arrest, there's consequences. All of your possessions will be taken away from you, and you, would, you will be placed in a holding cell, and what we used to call a drunk tank. It's not a nice place to be. If you put yourself in this position, you're going to devote a day to the process, and it's not going to be a pleasant day. If you have to work the next day, you, de you don't get to go to work. If you need to uh, pick up your children the next day or that evening, you don't get to do that. Mike's staff says over the years, the program has grown. Last season, Apollo completed 67 tows, which they say has helped to reduce the loss of life and loss of property. If you are pulled over and suspected of drunk driving and refuse a breathalyzer, a warrant will be submitted for blood draw. So what no refusal means is that we will secure a specimen of your blood by court order and we have a phlebotomist that will secure it. And if uh, you need to be held down, you will be held down. So is that one shot of whiskey, that one glass of wine, that one f flask of beer worth it? You have to ask yourself. If charged, you could face a $4,000 fine and up to six months in jail. James Ayala, 3 News.